Well, hello there. It is so good to see you. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, we'll be doing your daily tarot reading. This is good for Tuesday, March 26. We'll take a look at the overall energy with the oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details about any obstacles on your path for today, or um, areas of resistance, and of course, advice from spirit. So let's see what is on the horizon for you. Valiant courage, take action with passion, and lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Okay, so, you know, this is a little bit of that energy of the two of wands. You see how there's like <laughs> two of wands there. And, you know, the lizard is kind of like going, trying to make a decision, going between two different options, okay, in love, in career, in life in general, right? Trying to make a decision. And this is the energy that today <laughs> is the day to make a decision and then to take action on it. Be courageous in your action. If you're trying to make a decision, and it's, this is the energy here, you're trying to make a decision and one of the options kind of scares you because it's out of your comfort zone, because it's a little bit on the daring side. <laughs> it takes a little bit more courage in order to do it. That's probably the decision for you. Because we here are here in the eclipse season. And in the eclipse season is from now. It actually started yesterday um, until April 8th. This is the energy of new people, new situations coming onto our path of things happening quickly. And it's time to take courage. Something that maybe you have been thinking about for a long time. It's kind of like no longer allowing yourself to just sit there and get stuck in your head about it. If you're passionate about it, if it's something that you'd like to do, but you're not sure if it's the right decision, right? You'd like to do it, but you don't know if you have the courage to persevere and go towards this. That is exactly <laughs> the direction to go in. In other words, it's kind of like, what are you waiting for? This is one of those things that says, dream the world into being. Dream your dream, your your what you have been wanting to manifest. It's about getting into your heart. You have the loving woman here, right? Get into your heart and do the thing that makes your heart skip a little bit of a beat. It may literally scare you to some and <laughs> to a one part of you, right? But this is something that is just, it's full of passion. It's going to go the distance. It's going to bring you the rewards that you have been wanting. So been thinking about launching a new website, launching a new YouTube channel, right? Finally putting your book out there into the universe, <laughs> calling somebody up and saying, hey, I miss you, right? Or calling somebody up and saying, hey, I'd like to get to know you better, right? Whatever this is, it's eclipse season. Yeah, it is time to get your, your fire on. And here, you have the tower. Look at this. You have the tower. Taking this action brings you the blessings, <laughs> the fulfillment, the, the sense of love, abundance, joy that you have been seeking. It brings it all in instantly when you allow yourself to step into your heart, to take action with passion and no longer hold yourself back. I feel like you've been trying to keep yourself safe, right? I don't want to call that person and either try to reunite or call that person and take a relationship to the next level because, well, I don't want to get hurt, right? I don't want to put my book out there and then find out nobody wants to read it. I don't want to start a YouTube channel and then be worried about people making negative comments or nobody clicking on my thumbnail, right? It's kind of like, no, the universe is saying this is the divine time. You see the Wheel of Fortune? It's all about divine timing. <laughs> do not wait. Do not procrastinate. Make a decision. Do the thing that makes you scared. Like a little bit scared, right? Scared in a good way. <laughs> it's kind of like, well, I want to, but no. Just say, I want to and do it. Because here's your present energy. You have this conflict. It's internal conflict. Look, because you have the hermit energy, right? This is going within and asking yourself, what am I so afraid of? What is it that I'm so afraid of? That I'm going to be rejected? That I'm going to be abandoned? I'm going to find out my idea isn't accepted by other people? It's kind of like, no, 
I'm not going to allow my fears <laughs> to hold me back anymore. I'm stepping into my Queen of Wands energy. I'm stepping into this energy of having inspiration, motivation. Maybe I'm not receiving that from the people in my life. Maybe I'm not receiving that right? The, from the external world. But it doesn't matter. The King of Wands doesn't care what anybody else thinks. The King of Wands doesn't worry about rejection or abandonment, right? The King of Wands says, hey, this I got one life here and I am going to live it to the max. <laughs> I'm going to do all those things that I really want to do. And I'm no longer going to hold myself back, trying to keep myself safe from disappointment and heartbreak. Because, you know, a life without any disappointment or heartbreak is actually very boring, right? It's kind of like, no, the King of Wands is like, nothing is going to stop me. And I feel like this is this is you taking action, right? Stepping into your truth about why you've been holding yourself back, you know, and, and I feel like it all comes down to courage. Look at courage, valiant courage on that card. And then we'll look at what we have here. Present power. This is the strength card, the courage card. Having the energy, the strength, is seeing clearly that the only thing that is stopping you is your own fears. This is the energy of, you know, having every single excuse. We're in eclipse season. This is the eclipse season coming in. This is the divine time. It's kind of like the universe is saying, hey, listen, we're on your side. All you have to do is jump in both feet and <laughs> not just the big toe. It's like, no, now is the time because here you have the high priestess. You know that this is the way to go. Down deep inside of you, you know that when you are in your heart space, right? It, it, your idea, your this relationship, this job, this career, whatever it is, it's going to go the distance. It's going to stick around for a while. It's not going to abandon you, reject you. But it's kind of like your fear of that is the only thing that's stopping you. Look at this. You have the judgment card on the bottom. The judgment card is all about making decisions and knowing that this is the divine time for that. The judgment card also represents reuniting with people. We're in eclipse season. <laughs> it's, this is the time for reuniting, right? It's also the sense of your purpose, stepping completely into your purpose, not allowing people or external situations to hold you back anymore. You're the king of wands. The king of wands is the energy of a spiritual teacher, of somebody that is inspired not by other people, but finds that inspiration within themselves because they know that whatever it is that they truly believe in, what they know is their mission, it's time to take action. It's time to take action on what your heart truly desires. Take action with passion. That is such a King of Wands energy there, right? Because the King of Wands is just truly passionate. It's about don't, don't wait for somebody else to tell you that it's okay to go after what it is that your heart truly desires. Today's the day. It's time. Take that chance. You know, make that phone call. <laughs> hit that button on your computer that puts your YouTube channel out into uh, the cosmos, right? Go ahead, send your book off to the publisher, right? Or put it on Amazon or whatever. It's kind of like, yeah, whatever this is, today's the day. Go do it. And do it with passion. Do it with love in your heart. Do it because you know, you know with the high priestess, know that this is the path you're supposed to take and not allowing your <laughs> your your fears of what of whatever right we all have them there we end up using them as our excuses i don't have enough money to do it i don't have enough time i don't have enough energy i have to do this for everybody else no this is the moment and you have been waiting for a sign from the you know above this is it this is the time this is the divine time take action Take action with passion. All right, let's pull a soul truth card for you for some final advice. And I do do personal reading. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. Okay, so let's see. Wow, they are popping out, but this is the one that popped up. Am I afraid to be seen? Yes, how perfect that is for this message, right? 
So let's see what it says. The world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Time to shine your unique light on the world. You were made from love and from love you are whole. There is no more hiding. There is no more shame. There is only truth. Live naked and free. Be courageous, right? <laughs> Live naked and free. Allow your true authentic self to come out. Allow yourself to really and truly step into your purpose and know that this is the divine time to do it. All right, it says, what parts of me do I hide so that I can be socially accepted and fit in? Am I being authentic? Do I allow myself to be all of me? What do I need to feel so I... What do I need to feel so I can be safe and be seen? Journal your answers. Asking yourself that question. What is the worst case scenario? You 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 put you launch your YouTube channel. You you put your book out there. You make a phone call to somebody you might want to reconnect with. What's the worst case scenario? And then asking yourself, am I going to let that stop me, right? Because probably most of you <laughs> can face that. You already have, you're, you're kind of like focusing on the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario rarely happens. This is the energy of understanding. Even if the worst case scenario happens and nobody clicks on my YouTube channel, right? <laughs> and clicks on my thumbnail. Well, at least I put it out there, right? It's something that you can say, you know what? I had the courage. I did it. Maybe nothing happened, but I did it. And understand that when we allow ourselves to step out of our comfort zone and put ourselves out there, right? No longer hold ourselves back. Allow ourselves to be seen instead of hidden. The interesting thing is that even if that thing doesn't become what we're wanting out of it, right? Your YouTube channel goes viral <laughs> and your success overnight. The truth of the matter is, is that you're telling the universe, you know what? I have the courage. I'm willing to show up for my life. I'm no longer willing to hide under the bed and keep myself hidden, keep my true authentic self hidden from the world. I'm willing to step into it. I'm willing to have the courage to live my life. All right, I am going to, wow, well, I'm, I'm, all, <laughs> I'm all psyched <laughs> now. I've got to go do something out of my comfort zone. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there. I really, I truly appreciate you and love you so much. Thank you for all of your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Much love and light. Bye for now.